Hi everybody, we are going to pick up our labor supply uh, problems in this next video, looking at uh, an example where we will be drawing a budget budget constraint, a budget line in a labor leisure problem, um, but that has a little bit more to it than the standard uh, kind of straight line budget line. So yeah, here's the situation. Uh, Tom, he works $15 per hour, per hour, up to 40 hours, but then he can have some overtime. Um, in this case, two times his wage as overtime for any hour over 40 hours. Um, the other details, he has a 20% tax rate and pays $4 per hour in childcare expense, expenses for each hour he works and gets an $80 child support payment every week. 110 hours a week to choose between labor or leisure. Okay, um, so to graph the budget line, we can get a few a few um, steps. So first of all, if he's not working at all, that means he's leisuring the entire time. Um, that's 110 hours of leisure and zero hour zero dollars of consumption. Oh, sorry, <laughs> no, no. Um, Let's, let's write out the formula. WH plus V, right? So he earns his wage of 15, but he works zero hours. So zero, zero hours of wage income, but he gets that $80 child care payment. Um, so he will still get a uh, child support payment. So he will get $80 in consumption regardless. Okay. <coughs> um, so after that, <coughs> For the first 40 hours of the uh, normal work week, uh, we can calculate his after tax and after child care wage. All right, so that wage is going to be his $15. And he has a 20% tax rate. So that would be essentially he keeps 80% of his income. All right, and then he has to he has to pay the $4 per hour uh, child care payment. So another way to write that is his 15, he's taxed 20, he gets to keep 80, and then he gives away uh, four for the child care payment. Um, okay, and so then we get 15 times 80%, oops, 15 times 80% is 12, minus four is $8. Okay, so for the first 40 hours, his essentially net wage is $8 an hour. We can put per hour. Okay, so therefore, if he works 40 hours, he could have 110 minus his 40 hours of work. That's 70 hours of leisure. And consumption is that net wage rate times the number of hours worked plus is eighty dollars so net wage is eight dollars an hour working up to 40 hours plus the child support that's going to come out to 320 plus 80 for 400 dollars in consumption if he were to spend all 40 hours working um, so let's actually start to build this out before we continue on with the, the next bit of math. So we have consumption, we have leisure. We could draw there the the um, H for hours worked, right? hours of leisure, hours worked. So he could spend 110 all of his time with leisure and no time for working. Whoops. Or for the first 40 hours of work, so 40 hours of work up to 70 hours of leisure, he receives this uh, wage of eight dollars when it's when it's net of taxes and child child support um, child care expenses. Okay, so 
at that point, he could either have 70 hours of leisure uh, and he could have $400 of consumption up till his 40th hour working. Okay, now after 40 hours, he'll have a different wage because he gets his overtime, $30 per hour. But again, he's going to be taxed at 20%, so he keeps 80%. So we have the $30 per hour times the 80% that he keeps, minus $4 of child care expenses. That's going to come out to $20 per hour. Okay, um, so then if he leisures, uh, or if we want to look at the extreme case where he's not leisuring at all, and he spends all of his time, 110 hours working, zero hours left for leisure, and the consumption bit, we have to be a little careful here. Um, so it's the wage plus hours worked, or times hours worked plus non-labor income. But uh, that wage for the first 40 hours is different than uh, the wage after the first 40 hours. So in this case, we can break this wage into two categories. The wage during the first 40 hours times those 40 hours of work, plus the wage up till 110, from, from 40 up to 110 times those 40 up to 110 hours, it's actually 70 hours of work, uh, plus that non-labor income. And so we can break that out. That's the $8 per hour times the first 40 hours. For the rest of the time, he's making $20 per hour. And if he wanted to, he could work up till 70 more hours and then still get that $80 child support payment. Okay, multiply all that through, solve, and we'll get 1800 So if he spent his entire waking hours working, uh, he could receive up to $1,800. Uh, and that's going to be up here, $1,800. And this wage is the $20 per hour wage. And so the, the slope there is the negative 20, so up here is negative eight. Um, and so we see that he has this kinked, um, kinked budget line. Okay, um, then that's, uh, that's it. That's how, we, that's how we look at this. So not all, uh, not all budget lines take on that straight line uh, example. And this is, um, this is just one way to look at uh, a problem where that's not the case. Okay, so um, we'll stop there and, and pick it up next time with looking at uh, some utility functions, uh, putting mathematical notation uh, in order to calculate the optimal bundle of consumption and leisure. Okay, thanks.